Okay, welcome to Dragon Works. We got a 1984 Kawasaki ZX900 or ZX9 as they like to call them. And uh, basically this guy put, you know, a lot of time and money into this bike at one time. You can see he had everything on the bike all chromed out. And uh, yeah, I mean, even a valve cover, look at that cam cover. But anyway, um, sad story. It got stolen like 10 years ago or something like that. And I'm not sure. I don't know the actual details of the story. I kind of get them messed up. So I think he got it back. It's been sitting like six years or something. The guy is just pretty disgusted. And I think he's attempted to get it run in a couple times with, you know, no luck. So he brought it to me to see what I thought, if I could get it running. Of course, you know I can. I mean, anything can be totally rebuilt and run, but just cost effectively. Can we get it up and running again? And the guy can, you know, if he can enjoy it for a while. So anyway, that's my job. Got to get it checked out. I mean, I know it would run with a certain amount of work, but, you know, how reliable will it be and what have you. So Anyway, I'm going to get her checked out here and get it set up to see if I can fire this thing up. Okay, so the carburetors are a mess. Um, the floats are sticking. I can tell it's flooding the engine out. Um, it actually was spitting raw fuel out right here. I saw a bunch of it laying in there. It's definitely gas. So I don't want to continue that because uh, it's flooding the cylinders out. And also the carburetors are leaking pretty good. Uh, this outer one, you can see it leaking there. And it was dripping down on the starter and running down and the thing was backfiring and carrying on. So I really didn't want to push my luck and catch the, the bike on fire and catch the shop on fire. Uh, I already know the carburetors need to be rebuilt. I just wanted to see if it would run. Um, I had a couple cylinders were kind of low on compression. One was real low and then a couple were kind of low. And what I wanted to do was run the bike a little while, get it warmed up and then retest them to see if they're gonna be good but with this scenario going on, and this wiring is a mess, uh, they got their own little relay back here feeding the coils. Um, anyway, this thing is definitely an accident waiting to happen the way it is. Definitely a fire hazard, so I'm not going to push it anymore. I can get it running. I don't know how well it's going to run yet. I did hear some noise, either cam chain or valves. Could very well be the valves, and that may be why that one cylinder is low. It may be out of adjustment or something there. But I got enough information for the customer. That's what he wanted to know. If I could get it running, you know, and what it would cost and what have you. Now, that's just a test run to know I could get it running. But for it to run and operate, start, and run correctly, it needs quite a bit of work. So that's what he and I will have to discuss. So... For now, this might be it until I hear back from him. So we'll see what the next step is. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, so there you have it. I uh, was able to get it started and running. It actually tried to idle there. I think it was idling a little bit, but it was for certain uh, over fueling the motor. <laughs> the floats are stuck open. And if you notice, the carburetors are on an angle pointing towards the engine. So they overflow and it just goes in the motor. Now, all that you saw coming out of the tailpipe was not all fuel, but a lot of it was fuel. I think it sat outside. There was a bunch of water in there and uh, also fuel. I smelled it. it. It really smelled a lot like fuel. So, yeah, I don't want to do any more damage to the motor or anything. Can't really run it until we get them carbs straightened out. I was hoping, like I said, to run it long enough to recheck the compression 
um, because I had one cylinder was only 70 PSI. One of them was like 130. The other two were 150, 160. So I wanted to kind of know for sure if that cylinder was going to come back. So at this point, I know I can get it running for him enough to ride it. Um, I know he was concerned about the cost, so he's, you know, probably going to try to get away with as little as possible just to get him on the road and ride a little. And then maybe he can take it from there or, or what have you. But uh, the tank's got to be cleaned out. It's all dirty. Now, he didn't have the key for this, and I was able to pick this lock here. I uh, learned how to pick locks a long time ago. And uh, sometimes I'm not that successful at it, but I was able to pick this one and didn't have to drill it out. But that's, that's kind of irrelevant at this point because he don't have a key. We're going to have to get a new one anyway. But... A lot of people think you could just take these bolts out and this cap will come off and you can replace it, but you still have to get them unlocked because inside there's more screws holding this thing down and the hinge and everything goes up underneath the here under the tank itself so you can't really take it off. So even if you take these out, it won't come off. So we have to unlock it in order to replace it. And then um, it's kind of hard to see there. I don't have my light with me, but you can see down inside that tank's pretty nasty. So I got to get that all cleaned out, rebuild the carbs, straighten out the wiring. That's just in order to get it running good enough. And there's a lot more stuff that has to be done, obviously. But that gives me enough to tell the customer that's what he wants to know. And we'll have to come up with a plan which direction. Whoa, sorry, um, which way, which way we're going to go here with this thing. Uh, like I said in the other video, you can tell once upon a time, man, this was a beautiful machine. Um, beautiful paint, had it chromed out. What a shame, you know. Just just a shame somebody stole it and just beat the crap out of it. All right, guys, uh, that's probably going to be it for now. I'll let you know what uh, we decide here and what direction we're going. So thanks for watching. Need to get something running? Hit me up on Facebook. And peace out.